So let me get my pop out chat. Just want to pop out chat, make sure I can see the chat. We can minimize that now. And it is time to spread the word that we are streaming. Let me go to the home screen on this. Gonna make sure I share this out let everybody know we are streaming here brand new twitch channel let's see make sure we are working internet's lagging a little bit frame rate is a little low All right, we got it going on. All right. So this is brand new Twitch channel. Decided be easier to just do a brand new one with my name. Septile Games was a little bit harder to find. So we got brand new channel. We're going to be doing a 100 pack opening of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. And I want to get the game audio going on in the background. All right. Just to have a little bit of background music. All right, just sharing this, spreading the word. All right. Spreading the word out now. And this will be uploaded actually on YouTube after. Alright. So, that I've spread the word. Whenever people show up, they show up. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to stream it. Have fun with this. I have the pop-up chat to the side, I got everything to let you guys know what's going on. And um, I would have face cam, that would be top right, but my computer's running a little slow on that right now. Uh, but we're going to go over here into the collection, and well one, you guys see some of the cards we have. Um, but you guys see this, 100 packs of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. This is the brand new set, and um, a lot of really good cards in here that I am really looking forward to getting. Uh, Garbodor is possibly the best card out of this set, and probably the one that will end up getting banned, honestly. Um, uh, I'll just pull it up right here, and we'll just search Garboder. Um, we are looking for the Trashalanche Garboder, which does 20 for every item in your opponent's discard pile. This pretty much just screws over main decks, because a lot of main decks are using stuff like 3 to 4 copies of Ultra Ball, Trainer's Mail, Versus Seeker, so I want probably three reverse foils of that uh, next card we're really looking to get we're looking for Lele we really just want Tapu Lele GX just it's just probably second best card in the set behind Garboder um, if I want to run something in 
uh, what is it, expanded, I really want these phantom, because phantom's actually going to really just break expanded. And we got Zaffir here. Alright, you want to see the Greninja. A couple of the good Greninjas right here. Ash Greninja, just horrible card. Um, but you have the Breakpoint Greninja, XY Base Set Greninja, which is actually a very good Greninja. And then you have the best card Greninja's ever come out with, Greninja Break. So we're going to hop right into our collection, right into the packs. Oh, those have not owned. Alright, so we got 100 packs of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Oh, Alolan Ninetales, that's the other card. I want at least three to four, or three Alolan Ninetales. Nice, right off the bat, Phantom. Uh, but we have Barboach. Um, I think the Wish Cash in this set's good. It's just heavily required on energy. Alright, got one Phantom. I, I'm marking these down. Because I want a note of how many Phantom I need so that I can build a good expanded deck. So you have one Phantom. Alright, then we got Swellow, which you actually get, and I believe it's the Sol Galeo theme deck. Carvana, Machop, Weepin' Bell. Uh, Victory Bell is another good card in this set. Multi Switch. Move an energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active. That's actually not a bad card. I can see that being played. Uh, Fletchinder. Sableye, which is, I believe this was another controversial one. Your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand, so a nice little stall card. And then we have a Delmize. That's actually very good for my Solgaleo deck. Delmize, its ability boosts the power of Steel-type moves by 10 damage. So now Solgaleo's Soul Stream Burst, or Soul Burst, does 240, plus a Choice Band. Pretty much Oko's every GX in the game. Awesome. Oh, started off with a Hollow Rare, and a very good one at that one. Alright. Second pack. I want more Phantom. I want a couple more of the Delmize. Oh, nice, we got a Field Blur, but we'll start up at the top. We got Clefairy, Litwick, Cast Form, Tentacool, Gliger, Hakamo'o, Field Blower, amazing card. Choose any tool cards or stadium cards in play. Get rid of them. Such a good card. We got Gotharita. The reverse rare in the pack is a Honchcrow. Stacks is 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh! This Honchro could be very interesting, actually, in a rogue deck. Alright, and then we got a Talonflame regular rare. Which, looking at Talonflame... Um, let's see... Flame Charge, search for fire energy attached to this Pokemon... Oh, so this is the Loop Talonflame. Okay. So, it's not bad. It's just one of those looping Talonflames, I believe, that we got in, like, Flash Fire, I think. Alright, we got Wishy Washy, Gumi. I really do not like the Sewn ones. Uh, Slowpoke, Machop. We got a Wimpod. Scamper away. Shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. Eh, I don't like that. Alright, we got one Altar of the Sun, that's good, because all Fire and Steel Pokemon have no weaknesses. Very good for Volcanion EX decks, very good for Solgaleo GX decks. We got Metang, Hakamo'o, a Reverse Hollow Litwick, and the Rare in the pack is a Victini Hollow Rare, and we have Victory Star back. I believe Victory Star was used in the Black and White days. And once per turn, I can flip, if I flip any coins after my attack, uh, I can flip those coins again. This is going to be very annoying deck with probably Pinsir from X, or I mean Sun and Moon base set, to where Pinsir, if you flip a coin, if heads, it returns uh, a Pokemon back to your opponent's hand. So there's going to be flip teeny decks that are going to be out and running about just for fun. Probably won't be top tier meta, but will be some of those annoying decks that you'll see. 
All right. We have a Lolan Geodude. I actually like that art for Geodude. Rock Polish. During your next turn, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Okay. That's a lot of energy for 40 damage, though. We got a really cute little Fletchling here. Growl. During your opponent's Pokemon, the attacks do 20 damage less. We have a Rock Ruff. Because I believe the only way to get Rock Ruff before this was the Blister promo. We have Barboach, Petlil, Alolan Graveler. And oh my, this thing actually looks powerful, but it uses so much energy. We got another Altar of the Sun, Metang, a Reverse Hollow Gothita, and the rare in the pack is a Full Art How! Yes! Oh yes, that's actually what I wanted. Just look at the Alolan Raichu. Alright, so we got our first Ultra Rare already. Oh, that's such a nice one too. That's just your basic Tierno and stuff, but still, it looks so nice with the Alolan Raichu and how. Alright, we have Stuffle, Slowpoke, Mudbray, Salandit, we got Patrat, Whimsicott, we got Vanillish, the reverse rare in the pack is a Chandelure. 140 HP, not bad. Shady move. Once per turn, you may move one damage counter from one Pokemon to another. And then Super Singe, your opponent's active Pokemon's now burn. Eh, I mean, it's okay. It's not the greatest. And the rare in the pack is Oracorio. Feather Dance. Doing your next turn, this Pokemon's Pom Pom Punch does 100 damage. Eh, you know what? That's not bad for one energy to deal 100 damage. It's respectable. Alright, what do we got here? Anything new? We got Sanchru, Murkrow, Chansey, Machop, Helioptile, Beware, Sligu, Fletchinder, a Reverse Hollow Carvana, and the rare in the pack is a Lycanroc GX. We got Lycanroc Knight Form. Alright, so we got two Ultra Rares already. And I'm not too sure. I know there is a Lycanroc GX deck. I'm not too sure how viable and competitive it is. Uh, it has Bloodthirsty Eye, so when I play it to evolve one of my Pokemon, I can switch one of my opponent's bench Pokemon, so it's a Lysander, which allows you to switch your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, the problem with Lycanroc GX deck right now is right down here, it's weakness to grass. It's just very poor right now, especially with Lorantis Solgaleo decks, Lorantis Vileplume decks... Decidueye Vileplume, Decidueye Lorantis, just a lot of vi different variants of grass decks that are out right now that Lycanroc really just isn't that useful. <laughs> Alright, next pack. Alright, I'm, I'm going to try not to go through some of the duplicates here. So, we got a Nose Pass as one of the new cards in that set, and I really actually like this Hakamo art. Alright, the Reverse Rare in the pack is a Solgaleo Reverse Hollow. This is actually good because this is another card if you're just going to run Solgaleo deck. Um, this is a very good card to go with instead of running the GX. Uh, Shining Arrow does 50 damage to one of my opponent's Pokemon, and then Fangs of the Sun does 170. So, just a lot more reliable damage, especially since Solgaleo GX requires you to discard all your energy off this Pokemon. Instead, you can build up these and use your Solgaleo GXs for Soul Burst GX to build up these smaller Solgaleo. And then nice! We got a Full Art Hala. So if I shuffle my hand in my deck, if I have a G if I have used my GX attack, I draw 7. If not, I draw 4. So it's a different version of Sycamore. Sycamore usually requires you to discard your hand um, which is very good when either they draw Sycamore with no cards in their hand, or they have one card in their hand they don't really need. But Full Art Hala, it's useful in decks like Solgaleo GX, where you're trying to get your GX attack off early, or other decks like Tauros GX, where you're trying to get the Tauros very quickly. All right. So you've gotten three Ultra Rares, and we're not even ten packs in. Two of them are full arts. Alright, so we got 
Uh, Aether Paradise Conservation Area. So each grass and electric type take 30 damage less from my opponent's attacks. This is actually pretty good for Lurantis once Lurantis uh, loses forest. Um, it's also good for Tapu Koko and Vikavolt GX as they're taking 30 less damage. And then nice, we got the first choice man. Uh, this does 30 more damage to your opponent's GX Pokemon. So this pretty much allows Solgaleo GX to Oko everything in the in the meta, um, not holding a Fighting Fury belt. Uh, I want probably like four to five choice bands. All right, we got another Sableye Reverse Hollow Rare, and the rare in the pack is another Victini. So we've gotten two Victini Hollows. Which is not bad at all. Because Victory Star Fliptinis are going to be used a lot. I can see that happening with Pinsir. And since Pinsir's attack only requires um, a double colorless, I can see it being used a lot. Alright, so new, poke new cards we got here. We got Cottony. Cottony, uh, this, this sets... Uh, Whims account's not very good. We have a Mallow. Search your deck for two cards. Shuffle your deck, then add those to the top in any order. Not a bad card. You got a Reverse Hollow Tentacruel. And then the rare in the pack is a Hyper Rare or Rainbow Rare, whatever you want to call it. Vikavolt GX. Not even bad. And that is actually a gorgeous card. So it has Charge Beam, attaching energy from a discard pile to this Pokemon. That's similar to Lorantis's Flower Supply. Then it has Super Zap Cannon, I discard two energy. So it pretty much loops around there with the energy. And then Gigatron GX, this attack does 60 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Very good if you can get Vikavolt set up early game. If you get Vikavolt up early game, you can Gigatron GX and take out three to four of your opponent's basic bench Pokemon that are not GX's, which will be very beneficial late in the game or even early in the game. That is such a gorgeous card. All right, so we're 10 packs in now, and we have gotten a Full Art Hala, a Lycanroc GX, a Full Art How, a Hyper Rare Vikavolt, Delmise Hollow, and two Victini Hollows. So not even bad. Alright, we got Beldum, we got our first Alolan Vulpix. I need four Alolan Vulpix for a water box deck. We have Weeping Bell, Multi Switch, Fletchinder. Reverse in the pack is a Probo Pass Rare with Energy Link. And then uh, our rare in the pack is a Toxapex GX. It's not bad. We're getting a lot of stuff. Alright, so Toxapex GX, not too familiar with it. Um, Spike Cannon, flip four coins, this attack does 30 damage for each heads. And then we have Super Intensive Poison, your opponent's active Pokemon's poison, put 10 damage counters on it instead of one between during turns. That's actually a very good one. That's 100 damage right there. We'll take out anything basic under 100 HP. And then Total Shelter GX does 150. And then I get protection for next turn, so that's very good. Um, you'll probably see a few Toxapex GX. I mean, Psychic type is actually very good typing. All right, now we're gonna start our next batch of 10. What do we get here? Um, Rescue Stretcher, put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. That's actually not bad. Or I can put three from my discard pile into the deck. Very useful card. We have Watchhog and Slowbro. We have another Reverse Chandelure. And then the rare in our pack is a Victory Bell. This is the Victory Bell that pretty much can inflict three statuses in one turn. So Pollen Hazard, one, one Grass Energy, 20 damage, Burn, Confused, and Poison. So right there, he's taken 20 damage counters at the end of the turn. Two damage counters at the end of the turn for Burn and Poison. And then potentially another three for Confusion if they try to attack next turn. So that's pretty much the only good attack on that victory bell. Alright, so we have a Vanillite, we have an Enhanced Hammer, nice, this is good for the water box decks. 
we have a reverse hollow deli bird and then the rare in our pack is a hollow rare alolan golem i want to call it graveler for a second um four energy this attack does 30 less for each of your opponent's active retreat cost then it has electromagnetic rock record Gee, that is a mouthful this attack does um 80 times the number of heads you get, so real risky. Not a very good card, honestly. Um, just real risky having to do the heads tr to try to do deal damage. Alright, we got a Whalmer as one of our new cards. And then the rare in our pack is a Blissey Hollow Rare. So that's nice. Blissey, fresh egg when you play this Pokemon from my hand to evolve. I can heal 80 damage from my active Pokemon. So this has an ability similar to, um, what was it? One of the other hollow or rares we pulled that when you play it to evolve, or similar to Lycanroc, when you play it to evolve a Pokemon, then you, uh, um, then you are able to use its ability. It's okay. I like the artwork. Looks like... I like when I see something similar to a Kensugi Mori artwork. Alright. Come on, Tapu Leles, where are you? We got another Phantom. Nice. And another Field Blower. Those are essentially sta... Well, field Blower, anyway, is essentially a staple. So we got a regular Deli Bird. Another Field Blower. A Reverse Hollow Whimsicott. Wages of Fluff. If the defending Pokemon is knocked out during your next turn, take two more prize cards. It's a good attack, um, just it's tough with Steel typing and Solgaleo out right now. And then the rare is another Oricorio. Darn it. I was hoping for something good. Alright, so we got another multi-switch, got Sligu, Beware, Reverse Rare in the pack is Pangoro, Sky Uppercut, this attack isn't affected by resistance, and then Magnum Punch, just a lot of energy for not a lot of output, even with Choice Band and you're hitting a GX, you're only dealing 160 for 4, for Dark Energy, and 3 Colorless, and then the Rare in the pack is a regular Turtonator. Uh, body slam, flip your coin. If your opponent's, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Eh, it's not bad. And then it has heat blast for two fire and a colorless. Uh, Turtonator GX is another meta deck that's going on. They're throwing that into Volcanion. And we get our first Jangma O. Bulletproof takes 10 damage less from attacks. The problem with this is it requires electric and fighting. We have a Max Potion, which is actually very good for Tapu Koko, which is in this set. We got Sudowoodo Roadblock. Your opponent can't have more than four bench Pokemon. So it's a good way to stop them. It's similar to, I believe it's Reverse Valley or Parallel City, I believe. Reverse Rare in the pack is a Gudra. I believe that's a Hollow Rare Gudra as well. Again, the problem with Dragon is this energy usage of Water Fairy, Electric Fighting, so it's not very uh, beneficial to you. Alright, and then the rare in the pack is, yes, got the first Garboder. Nice. We got one Garboder so far. I need a lot, I need three or four of these, I think. Trash Lanch is just such a good attack. You play this with Vile Plume, your opponent's pretty much just lock down uh, or you play it with the breakpoint garboder and it's your opponent doesn't get to play Pokemon at that point because you have them ability locked they use items garboder just goes in and kills it's it's just not fun for your opponent so you got first garboder only a toxapex GX out of the second set of ten uh, we got a reverse field blower, nice. I actually want the reverse ones and the secret rare. Then we have a regular Hala. And then the rare in the pack is a fire Oracorio. With passionate dance, search your deck for up to three basic fire Pokemon, throw them onto their bench. I can see this teched into Volcanion EX. Uh, just allows you to get your Volcanion out quicker. We got another Aether Conservation Area, so that's not bad at all. So still only two Phantom, one Garboder. 
two, three, two field blower, one reverse. Uh, we have Gothita regular. We have another hollow deli bird. That's two of them. And then we have a second hollow rare blissey. So uh, I'm not too sure. Not too happy with the second set of ten here right now. All right, what do we got? We got a first Tentacruel, actually. We got another Max Potion. Those Max Potions are actually very nice for to uh, Tapu Koko, and even better once we get Super Scoop Up. Um, so we got our first Tentacruel, all colorless energy. We got our first Machoke, Daunting Pose, prevent all damage done to your basic Pokemon from attacks. That's actually a very good ability uh, to prevent anything from Vicavolt GX, for example. We're going to reverse hollow stuffle, and then the rare in the pack is a swallow regular rare. Alright, last pack for this second set of 10. Can we get some Tapu Leles? Alright, first uh, we got Brooklet Hill, so we can search our deck for a water or a basic fighting type, add them onto my bench. This will be very good with... Uh, Tapu Fini when that comes out, being able to get your Tapu Finis out. Uh, right now it's useful for getting uh, your Lapras GX out and your Vulpix out. We got a Lampent. Our reverse rare in the pack is a Minior with Swift. Does 20 damage and isn't affected by weakness. Not very good. And then Cosmic, Splo or Cosmic Explosion. Does 190 and the opponent's Pokemon are and Minior's knocked out as well. So it's a one for one card. Uh, slap a choice ban, you're dealing 220 to GX's, which Oko's everything, but I believe Solgaleo, Lunala, Incineroar, and Decidueye GX. And then the rare in the pack is a Fire Oricorio. So we've gotten two of the Oricorios here. As we're gonna start this third set of 10. Um, still no Tapu Leles. Got a couple Victinis, a couple Altar of the Suns, a couple Phantoms, and there we go. First good card. Very good card for the Water Box deck. We have Aqua Patch. This allows you to attach one energy from my discard pile to one water Pokemon. Very good on Lapras, Ninetales, Lapras. Tauros, such a good card. I want the Secret Rare of this as well. We have our first Marini. And Brooklet Hill will allow you to search for Marini so you can get Toxapex GX. We have a Reverse Hollow Metang, and the rare in the pack is a Full Art Turtonator GX. Not even bad. This is going to be a good card in Volcanion, and it will be a force in the future. Um, Shell Trap. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon's damaged by attack, I put 8 damage counters, so it has a Bursting Balloon effect into Turtonator. Has Bright Flame, which is 160 for 2 fire and a colorless. And then Nitro Tank GX. Add 5 fire energies from my discard pile to my Pokemon in any way you want. So similar to Soul Burst GX from Soul Galeo. But that Full Art Turtonator is a nice looking card. Alright, so we have a Reverse Hollow Bellsprout as the new card. And the rare in the pack is a Hyper Rare Metagross GX. Not even bad. And Metagross is one of those other cards that people are thinking about meta decks around. Uh, looking at its ability, has Geotech system. Once per turn, I can attach a Psychic or Steel Energy from my discard pile to my active Pokemon. Very good if I'm playing against uh, or playing with Solgaleo. The problem is, is you have two Stage Two Pokemon's going on on right there. A lot of Pokemon. Uh, Giga Hammer can't use Giga Hammer during my next turn, and then. Algorithm GX. I can search my deck for up to five cards, put them into my hand. Very good ability if I'm trying to add supporters, uh, rare candies, stuff to just build up my field. So that is very good. And to get a hyper rare one, not bad. All right, so we got another Altar of the Sun. Not bad. That's what I like to see. We got our first Altar of the Moon, which the retreat of any Psychic or Dark is two less. So that's actually not bad to give free retreat. 
Our rare in the pack is our second Lycanroc GX. <laughs> and then our reverse rare in the pack is a reverse hollow rare golem. Alright, so I mean we're pulling in a nice amount of GXs and ultra rares so far from this set. Um, we have a reverse hollow clefable, and I love the way the reverse hollow pattern is. And, fun fact. Clefable now gets Meteor Mash. And then, yes, we got a Hyper Rare Sylveon GX. Not bad. Sylveon's one of those other cards. Um, this is an, probably the third highest dollar card in the set right here. And it's something people are really going after. One, because it's an Evolution, uh, But t uh, you also have the Eevee Evolution from Sun and Moon base set that you pretty much pay, put a... Fairy on the, put a fairy energy on the Eevee, and boom, you have a Sylveon GX, 200 HP, Magical Ribbon, search for up to three cards in my deck, put them into my hand, very good. Fairy win for 110, and then Plea GX, I could put two of my opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards into my opponent's hand. Um, can be good depending on what you're playing against. If you're playing against something where they have to build up, like a Evotal Break or a Incineroar GX, Decidui GX, then we um, send those back to their hand and they gotta waste time building those up. We need an Altar of the Zaffir. <laughs> well, with all the Altars right now, might as well. Altar of Zaffir sounds like it could actually be a card. Alright, there we go. First Trubbish, actually. I hate Claymation, but we got our first Trubbish, which is needed for Garbodor. Then we have Glalie. The reverse rare in the pack is another Gudra reverse. And then we have a Mimikyu Hollow Rare. I believe we got this as a promo, the exact same one. It's not a very good card. As Filch and Copycat. So, um... If your opponent used an attack that isn't a GX attack during their last turn, use it as this attack. It's not bad if you're mimicking something with Mimikyu. Alright, what do we got next? We got another Ultra Sun and the Moon. We got a reverse hollow or reverse rare victory bell. And then the rare in the pack is a second Mimikyu, so we've doubled up on two of the hollows actually. Three or four if you include Golem, because we did pull the reverse rare Golem. Alright, can we get. Come on, Hyper Rare Tafu Lele GX. Alright, another reverse rare. We got Comfey with Flower Shield, so anything that has a fairy energy cannot be affected by special conditions. Um, you'll see this splashed in Mega Gardevoir decks, just to prevent their Gardevoir from getting burned, poisoned, confused. And then the rare in the pack is a second Garboder. Nice. That's that's working out really nicely to get that Garboder deck going. Alright, closing on 30 packs here. Alright, nothing new. We got a new we got another Trubbish and another Phantom. Nice. We got a reverse hollow rare or reverse hollow marini, and the rare in the pack is a Rayquaza. Which I don't even think this was released in Japan. So Turbo Storm, add two basic energies from a discard pile to one of my bench, po one of my bench Pokemon. It's okay. It's not the greatest Rayquaza card we've gotten. Severely outclassed by its EX forms. All right, got another Field Blower. Gives us four Field Blowers. We got Energy Recycler that got a reprint. Our Reverse Rare in the pack is a Talonflame. And then the rare in the pack is our third Flipteeny. Not even bad. Not I'm not going to complain about getting uh, hollow rare Victinis. And we got another. We got another reverse rare. We're getting a lot of reverse rares right now. Uh, we did get another max potion to add. We get our third golem. So we've gotten three hollow rare golems, two of them being reverse. And then we have a hollow rare chandelure. So that's our third chandelure, actually, because we did have two uh, um, reverse rares of it. All 
All right. Oh, there we go. Some new cards. Here we got Komala. Comatose as long as it's my active Pokemon. Whenever I attach an energy, it's now asleep. And then Hypno Roll does 100 damage if it is asleep. We have Gliscor. We have Energy Lotto. Look at the top seven cards in my deck. I can reveal an energy and add it into my hand. So it's not a bad card. Real risky. And then we got another rare Rayquaza. It's been a little bit since we pulled a GX or Ultra Rare. We got Reverse Hollow Energy Recycler. And we got the third of the four Oricorios. This one has Vital Dance, so when I play a Pokemon onto my bench, I can search up to two basic energies and then put them into my hand. So it's a Professor's Letter once I put it into the bench, which is not bad for Psychic type decks. It's just pretty much death fodder after it hits the bench until you get Super Scoop up. Nice, we got another Alolan Vulpix. That gives us two Alolan Vulpixes so far. We get a regular Energy Lotto, a Reverse Hollow Watch Hog, and the rare in the pack is a Gothitel regular rare. Uh, Tractor Beam switches Pokemon with one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, or switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. That does 30 to this new active. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's a trapping, well, not really a trapping thing. All right, we got a reverse hollow Slowbro, not bad. And the rare in the pack is our third Lycan Rock GX. I guess I'm trying to, uh, I guess I'm trying to uh, build a Lycan Rock GX deck. Cause three Lycan Rock GXs, none of them are full arts though. Which kind of is a shame. Uh, nothing new, but we did get another choice band, which is nice. I want probably three copies of that minimum. It's also good trade bait. As we get our first wish cash, which landslip discards the top three cards in my deck. Um, Got to discard three cards in my deck, and then for each energy discarded, it deals a hundred more. Um, so it's actually not bad. Alright, we got another Altar of the Moon, another Brooklyn Hill, a Reverse Hollow Vulpix. I will actually write that one down. Because I want reverses in the Vulpix. And then... We got another Gothitelle. Oops, I hit the mark. Uh, so I hit the mic there. Uh, we have a Vanillish Reverse Rare. We got another Enhanced Hammer. And the rare in the pack is a Drampa GX. That's the first Drampa. That's the first Drampa GX we've gotten. And it's an okay card. Just requires Colorless here. Not very high on the HP count. Um... Righteous Edge, so discard an ener special energy. Very situational if your opponent's running uh, special energies. Double colorless counts as special energy. Then you got Berserk. Um, does 70, po 70 extra damage if any of my bench Pokemon have any damage counters. And then Big Wheel GX, shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw 10 cards. It's okay, it's not the greatest thing ever. All right, what do we got here? We got another Lolan Sandshrew. We got a Reverse Hollow Komala. We got our second Aqua Patch. That's what I want. I want more Aqua Patches. And we got Waylord, 200 HP, which is one of the highest for non-GX. And it's just bulky. That's pretty much what it is, just bulky. Alright, we got a Barboach Reverse Hollow, and then we have our fourth Alolan Golem. Oh my. I guess I'm trying to build a Alolan Golem deck. I gotta find something that I can use with Alolan Golem. It just requires so much energy. Oh nice, another Phantom. Mark that down. That's what I want. We got Alolan Sand Shrew Reverse Hollow, and the rare is our third Rayquaza. 
Alright, how many packs are we at? Well, we've finally gone through 40 packs, and... Still no Tapu Lele's, no! Alright, well, there's our fifth Phantom. We got another Max Potion, that gives us three. Another Aqua Patch. An Aqua Patch are actually very, very good trade bait as well. The Reverse Hollow in the pack is a second Reverse Hollow Honchkrow. And the rare is a full art Tapu Coco. Let's go. That is actually a really nice card. Arrow Trail. So when I play this Pokemon from my hand to the bench during my turn, I can move any number of electric energy from any other Pokemon to this Pokemon. And if I do, I make it active, which is very good to do to bring in... Uh, Sky, Claw, Sky High Claws GX for 130, and then Tapu Thunder GX uh, does 50 times the amount of energy attached to all my opponent's Pokemon, which is pretty much a guaranteed KO on most decks. And Coco gets better come Burning Shadows in August when we get Super Scoop up. But I love that full art. Alright, still looking for the full art Lele. We got Coco. Uh, I just want the Lele. Reverse Hollow. Halo, and the rare is our second Psychic Oracorion. I actually might tech this into an Espeon deck, honestly. Alright, then we got another Altar of the Moon and Brooklet Hill. Alright, another Phantom and Trubbish. Let's go. We got six Phantom now. Alright, we got a Reverse Hollow Vanillite. And... A Salazzle, so Hot Poison, when I play it for my hand to evolve one of my Pokemon this turn, my opponent's active Pokemon is Poison and Burn, so right there, two damage counters. Other than that, not much it really does. 90 damage for three energy. Alright, we got another Wimpod there, another Jangma O. Reverse rare in the pack is a Delmize. Let's go, two Delmize already. I need three of them for my Solgaleo deck. And then we got a Vanillix regular rare. And I actually like that artwork for the Vanillix. Hail does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's actually pretty good to deal 20 to each of the bench as well. Uh, oh, still need Ninetales GX. I forgot. I need a Lola Ninetales GX. Alright, so Mud Mudbray, uh, I don't think there's a Mudsdale GX, but we've got a Reverse Hollow Sligoo, so I think we've gotten all of the Sligoo line in Reverse Hollow. And then a Sharpedo with just Jet Headbutt with a Water and a Colorless Energy. Can we get more? Another Alolan Vulpix. I only want the Reverse ones, though. Uh, reverse rare in the pack is our second Solgaleo, which is perfect. I love seeing the, I love seeing the reverse hollow pattern on these. So I think I only need two for my Solgaleo GX deck, which would be very nice for this. Um, with Alter the Sun, I lose my fire weakness. With the Psychic resistance, I match up very well against Espeon decks. So very excited. And then. An, so there's two Oricorios of so the Psychic one. Oh, this is the Ghost one. There's a Psychic one and a Ghost one. Okay. So we've gotten all four of the Oricorio. And there's still bad cards. We've got another Rock Ruff. For those three uh, Lycanroc GX I have. The rare is a second Salazzle. I got 50 packs and I want at least one Lele. Got another Max Potion, which is nice. That'll help out those Tapu Coco. And a Probo Pass. Um, I have a Reverse Probo Pass. It's not very good in the meta right now. Oh, that might be the first Snow Run. It's not? I don't remember seeing the Snow Run. Uh, reverse Rare in the pack is a Mimikyu, so that gives us three Mimikyu now. I have two regular hollow and the one regular or reverse rare. And then Lilligan. 
I did not know that was a rare in this set. Petal Blizzard does 10 damage to each of my opponent's Pokemon. Not very good for one colorless. And then Petal Dance for 40 damage times the number of heads for three coins and then confused. Not very good at all. Uh, we got another Jangmo. We got another Mallow. And that is a Kensugi Mori artwork. When you see it pretty much almost done like it's in the video game, that's a Kensugi Mori artwork. Reverse Hollow Helioptile. We have Altar of the Moon. And then the rare in the pack is our third or fourth Talonflame. Alright, so 50 packs in. And it's not looking like we're going to get a Lele. We got our second Reverse Hollow Field Blower, though. That is very nice to get. Take, get rid of all those tool cards or stadiums on my opponent's field. And then our fourth flipped teeny. Oh boy, that's going to be... Uh, I got some trade bait there because I know people are really looking for the flipped teenies here. Alright, what else do we got? Reverse Hollow Gothita. I believe that's like my third one of these. Oh, we got another Aqua Patch. That gives me a playset, right? Yep. I got four. I got a full playset of Aqua Patches there. The rare in the pack is another Talon Flame. Oh no, I'm running into a dry spell here. I haven't pulled anything since that Coco. I don't. Yeah, I've gotten the Hollow Victini. That's about it. Another Max Potion. And the rare is our second wish cash. Uh, trying to really just get, trying to really just get some of those meta cards I need. Like alter the sun, alter the moon are nice. I've actually pulled a lot of those, and if I do pack battles, these are probably the cards I'm gonna pick. Got a third wish cash, second in a row, and then a reverse hollow Wimpod. I actually like that as a reverse. I believe Galissapod's a hollow rare in this set. Got another Trubbish. Another Choice Band. That's actually my third Choice Band. Which is I really need for Soul Galeo decks. And then another Talon Flame. So I think I used up all my GX and Ultra Rare luck early on in this opening. Got another Field Blower. Nice. We got a reverse hollow or uh, reverse rare Absol, Future Sight. Look at the top four cards of either player's deck and then put them back. I believe it's in any order. Yep, any order. And then Doom News, put all energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. At the end of the, your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon will be knocked out. It's not bad for dark energy and a colorless. They can also switch out. And then we got our second regular rare Turtonator. Uh, judging on this opening, it looks like I'm going to be building a Lycanroc GX deck with this. Got another Max Potion. We got another Talonflame Rare. And then we have a Mudsdale Hollow Rare. So first Mudsdale so far. Enhanced Stomp. It's just... The problem with Mudsdale and Alolan Golem, they just use so much energy just to attack. In most meta decks, you're going to run four, or I mean five to, no, about 10 to 12 energy. We got a reverse hollow glider, first one. Got another aqua patch. Five aqua patches. I can trade away one of them right now. Then another turtonator. So we're starting to really just double up on rares. Oh boy. As we're closing in on 40 packs left here. I haven't even gotten many Alolan Vulpix. I think I have three. Three straight Turtonator. And not even Turtonator GX. Uh, that's cringe. That's, that's upsetting. Three Turtonator in a row. Alright, we have Reverse Hollow Jangmo. And then the rare is the Fire Oracorio. Oh no. I think I've gone almost 15 packs without a top, without even just a GX pull. Uh, Alright, reverse rare is a Rayquaza. That's like my fifth Rayquaza so far. 
<laughs> no. Oh, I'm, all I'm getting is Oricorios and Turtonators and Talon Flames. No, my luck is running out. Oh, first reverse Murkrow. And then the rare is a fifth Mimikyu, or fourth Mimikyu. Uh this is gonna suck if I don't if I don't get one Lele. Cause most decks just wanna know if most decks are gonna use one or two Lele. Ooh, reverse max potion. Nice. Regular Kill Fable with Meteor Mash. And No. <laughs> I'm really just doubling up. Oh, Two Oricorio in a row, three Turtonator in a row. At one point, it was like three Talon Flames. Oh, first Alamomola. And our second Lilligant. Oh boy. I got 36 packs, including this one I'm opening up. Just please, one Tapu Lele. I've pulled three Lycan Rock. Give me at least one Tapu Lele. I'm about to just Photoshop this Talon Flame out and put a troll face on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Something new, please. Ooh, reverse Hollow Trevenant. That's new. It's not a very good one. Um, the Phantoms are only going to be used with, I believe it's the Trevenant Break from Breakpoint. I, I've stopped keeping tr track of Rayquazas and Talon Flames. I've gotten way too many of them. Oh, two Marini, one pack. Not bad. Come on. No! Oh my goodness. This middle section of this opening from like pack 60 to pack 30 has just been horrid. Reverse Hollow Conservation Area. Something new at least. And then my fifth Alolan Golem. I have three hollows and two reverse hollow rares of this thing. Its artwork's powerful, but it's just not good. Oh my goodness, come on. Reverse rare is a Gudra. That's the third reverse Gudra. I think I've pulled three reverse Gudra and not even one regular. And there's my first regular rare Honchkrow. I'll take it. It's new. It's not Tapu Lele, but it's new. Another Aqua Patch. Reverse Hollow Slugu. Enhanced Hammer. And an Alolan Sand Slash. Actually, first one of those that I've gotten. Uh, Slush Rush. Once per turn, I might draw a card. It's, it's not the greatest. Um... But at least some of the Alolans are actually decent. Alright, reverse rare in the pack is a reverse hollow rare Salazzle. It's new, it's different, it's not the same thing repeated. And yes, third Garboder! Let's go! I'm actually not complaining that it's not a GX. I'm okay with a reverse hollow Garbo or regular rare Garboder. That gives me a playset, which is actually the meta deck right there. All right, reverse rare in the pack is a Heliolisk. Not bad. Raging Thunder does 30 damage. And then to one of my bench, and then 120. That's actually not bad at all. With a Choice Band, does 150 to a GX. And then a Full Art Drampa. Let's go. Finally got a GX. Not a very good one. But, you know what? I'm not complaining. A Full Art Drampa? At least it breaks that dry spell I had. Hopefully I can finish up strong and maybe end with like six GXs here at the end. Reverse Hollow Fletchinder, new. And a Lunala regular rare. Um, I don't think this is going to be really used in a Lunala GX deck. Um, Shattershot does 40 times the amount of psychic energy, so it can do, can do a lot more than re regular 40. Minimum of 120. So that's not bad. We got 27 packs to go. Can I end up strong? Got 
reverse hollow slowpoke, so I do have slowpoke and slow bro reverse hollow. Get off my screen, no. I'm not even mentioning that thing anymore. I think I have five of them. Nice, aqua patch. Second, reverse hollow salazzle, and then regular heliolisks. We've gotten two heliolisks. Come on, one Tapu Lele. I will trade Lycan Rock or something for Tapu Lele. I just want one Lele. Alright, what do we got? We got a Reverse Hollow Rare Machamp, and that's actually an amazing card. I love the way that looks. Alright, and then another Vanillix. Oh, uh, this opening is just upsetting. Got a regular Chansey. And a Minior Hollow Rare. So that's our second Minior. We did pull a reverse one earlier. Let's go. Oh, all right. So it's a Hollow. I'm not complaining. I have my Hollows and my GXs written down. All right. A Chandelure Rare. So that's our fourth one of the or Hollow. So that's our fourth one of the Chandelures. All right, let's see what we got. What we got going on? Another reverse. A reverse hollow rare Blissey. Third Blissey. I think I only got like one Chansey too. And the rare in the pack is another Turtonator. Come on, one out of these last 21 packs can I get a Lele? Nice reverse hollow rare or reverse hollow Aqua Patch. I will take that. I got two Delmys. Nice! Back to back hollow re or reverse aqua patches. Nice. If I can get a place that are reverse ones, I can trade away all my other ones. Um it's not looking like I'm gonna get Lele or Ninetales, honestly. Yeah, it's not looking like I'm gonna get Lele or Ninetales, which is gonna really suck. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll try to build a Lycanroc GX deck. Yeah, I'm not getting anything, as I'm really just speeding through these last few packs here. Um, got another Phantom, and... Oh, nice! We got a Full Art Metagross GX. So we've gotten two Metagross. So we've gotten a Hyper Rare and a Full Art. That's actually kind of nice. So we've gotten two, two Metagross. We've only doubled up on two GXs so far. As we have Reverse Hollow Rare Oricorio and a Hollow Rare Golisopod. Finally! And this is actually a preview, uh, sneak, peek car, sneak preview card. Armor takes 30 damage from attacks, and if my opponent's active Pokemon's a GX, this attack does 70 more. Slap on a choice band, you're dealing 180 to GXs, which Oko's Drampa, actually. And I don't think you hit any... You hit maybe one of them. Primarina for super effective. Uh, nice! We got our third Delmize. Got the place that I needed. Yes! Let's go! We got a full art Lele! Oh yes, thank goodness. Got a full art Tapu Lele GX. Let's go. Oh yes. Perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. The full art looks so nice too. Let's go. Alright, I got about five minutes left to stream here. See if I can go through 12 packs in five minutes. Alright. And we got our fourth Lycan Rock GX. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We got a second mini or third mini or.
Not even bad. I got the one Lele. I am happy now. And our second... That's our second full art holla. Okay. So we've gotten... So we've gotten two full art holla. I'm not going to complain with that. We got reverse hollow, rare swallow. We got our first Alolan Nine Tails GX. Not bad. Alright, not bad. Got another reverse hollow swallow and a hollow rare drampa finally. So that's not bad. Alright, what's the rare in the pack? Rayquaza, and then a fourth Garboder. Let's go. Alright, the rare in the pack is a second Mudsdale. All right. All right, first Tentacruel Reverse Hollow, and then a Wishy Washy GX. Not bad. So, three packs left, and the streams, uh,. We got our first regular Trevenant. All right. All right, got a reverse holo rock rough finally. We got another wish cash and last pack. Could we end with a Lele? Could we end with a second Lele? Come on, last pack is a victory bell. Welp, I am actually not going to complain about that opening. That was a, uh, that was a very good opening. Not going to lie, highlighted by Tapu Lele GX late in the stream. Oh. All right, well, that will do it for this stream. Um, looking at it, 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ultra rares on, um, 100 packs, so one out of every five packs, we got an ultra, then we got 7, 9, 13, 18, 21, We got 41 uh, hollows, so pretty good day. 40, pretty much 60 of the packs had a, rare, a hollow or a reverse hollow rare in it, so very good day. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and follow me here on Twitch. I'll go over the YouTube channel. Um, subscribe over there. Uh, also follow me on Twitter for more TCG updates. But with all that being said, guys, I'm Johnny GB, and I'm out.